Welcome, folks, to another episode of Dino Times. I'm your guest's host, Dakota Morgan, coming to you from Phoenix, Arizona. For any podcaster, animal caretaker, dino swing enthusiast, and all that shit like that, today we are going to be talking about something new. It's actually news. We're going to be talking about Nano Tyrannus, the supposed T Rex subspecies, not T Rex subspecies. In the news, there has been a recent paper published that says Nano Tyrannus is, in fact, a different Tyrannosaur species. So it is actually one where we thought it was a juvenile T Rex before and wasn't really anything to be separated in its own classification of species. Now, it actually says that it is. Well, supposedly, according to this paper, we're going to see what happens. A little background on it. It was considered just a juvenile rex before until it was dis- uh, until, uh, it was proven. It, they thought it was a, uh, its own species before until it was disproven and become just a juvenile rex skeleton that would have been found. 1988 is when it was first described and was found in the Hell Creek Formation, same as a lot of Tyrannosaurus rexes. And before, it was show difference in ages and not in different species. So the bones would show different uh, evidence of aging and not showing different evidence of being different different species to be considered from a Tyrannosaurus. Now, here's a couple things where the paper has given their claims that Nanotyrannus is its own species. Tyrannosaurus diversity data shows multiple species of Tyrannosaurus could actually coexist. And also they are going into it saying that there is no specimens showing growth connected to the T-Rex and Nanotyrannus, a.k.a. there is no in-between specimens that would show it's connected to Nanotyrannus, any basically like uh, in-between the missing link, one might say. They're also going on to say that the specimens show rapid growth and age, and it actually steadies out at a certain age instead of growing forward, growing older to become a larger Tyrannosaurus Rex. So when it hits a certain spot, it actually just stops aging, stops growing, and it stays at that size. Now, they're also claiming, too, that younger specimens of Tyrannosaurus Rex that we do have, the few and far in between, that actually they are showing... St- differences compared to uh, juvenile so juvenile specimens are showing differences compared to the nano tyrannus so they're actually different is what this paper is uh, considering here i'm trying to word my words very carefully here because this is turning into a huge debate already in the paleontological community so i'm trying to make sure we stay in the realm here of neutral switzerland here but that is what the new paper is claiming for nano tyrannus is that it's its own species yet again Will it be a thing? We shall see. But if you guys would like this video, leave a like on the video as well. Subscribe to the channel for more paleo content, Dino Times, and other nerd content as well. My social media description box down below. And yeah, comment down below, guys. Do you think Nano Tyrannus is its own species, or is it just a juvenile T-Rex? The debate is on with this one. And we're going to see further in a year if more papers do come out on it. Thanks, everybody. And of course, remember, science is real.